Emmanuel, God is with us. Fourth Sunday of Advent. Today's Gospel passage quotes from Isaiah. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. According to the Gospel passage, according to our faith, Jesus fulfills this prophecy as the Emmanuel, which literally means in Hebrew, God is with us. Sometimes it feels that God is not with us, that God is absent. But God, Jesus, is always with us. Jesus chooses, though, to remain hidden from us and wants us to recognize his presence coming repeatedly through creation, above all through the Eucharist, and also in so many other ways, especially through our neighbors where Jesus lies hidden. A theologian, in commenting on Jesus as Emmanuel, as God, with us, refers to a story told by Eli Weisel. In the story, with a few modifications, a child in tears races into a room where his grandfather is. Standing before his grandfather, who is a rabbi, the child complains, A friend does not like me. He does not care about me. He is not a true friend. Hugging his grandson, the grandfather asks, How do you know that your friend does not care about you? The grandson immediately responded, I was hiding from him since we were playing the game of hide and seek. For about five minutes he tried to find me, but since I was hiding so well, he gave up, went home, leave me, leaving me alone. He does not like me. He doesn't care about me. To this the grandfather responded, I agree that was not kind of your friend. However, is that not how we so often treat God? God is hiding from us all the time, waiting for us to seek him, to find him, and we often just give up looking for God or not even try to find God in the first place. <laughs> as Emmanuel, as God with us, Jesus is also hiding from us, but for a reason. In his childlike joy, he wants us to seek him, and then he will hide again. Why? so that in the process of seeking him, we encounter one another and are knit together as a caring, loving family, with God as our father, Mary as our mother, and Jesus as our brother who walks with us and plays with us as God with us. Jesus' hidden presence is with all, all of us, at least potentially. So often we forget Jesus' presence within us, we forget that Jesus is waiting for us to recognize him within us so that he can reach others through us with his divine merciful love. Through our hands, our feet, our eyes, our minds, our hearts, he wants to love others through us. We correctly think that we have to open ourselves to receive Jesus as well as open our mouths as we will open our mouths to receive Jesus in the Eucharist. But we also are called to open ourselves so that the love we receive from Jesus can also go out through us. In this way, we will be living out Trinitarian love. We receive Jesus from the Heavenly Father, and then we breathe out, we transmit out Jesus in the love of the Holy Spirit, who has the shared love between the Father and the Son brings us together in harmony. May our ambition be less about getting ahead in the world, whether, the, whether it is receiving a job promotion or getting good grades, and be more about bringing the presence of Jesus to those we meet today, who desires all to be truly happy. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us, mold us, fill us, use us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. God bless.